Hi everyone, this is Kim from the Palo Alto Networks community team bringing you a new Palo Alto Networks video tutorial. In today's video I will go over a feature that isn't exactly new but was enhanced considerably by popular demand. Log forwarding has been around on our firewalls since forever. However, the feature had its limitations. Let's say for example that you want to forward particular logs to start troubleshooting a specific issue. Prior to PanOS 8, you had to choose a collection of logs by severity or type rather than the set of logs you are actually interested in. This isn't granular at all and most of the time you'll end up with a flood of unwanted logs that you still have to filter through manually. In response to that limitation, this enhancement will allow you to use user-defined filters for log forwarding purposes. So let's go check it out on our firewalls and I'll show you exactly what it used to look like as opposed to how we improved it in PanOS 8.0. As you can see right here, I've logged on to my firewall which is currently running PanOS version 7.1.3. Let's go check what log forwarding looks like. Just click the Objects tab and on the bottom left side you will find log forwarding. Now there's already a profile configured but for the sake of this video let's quickly add a new one to see what exactly we can do here. Just click the Add button. Give your profile a name. Now notice there's not much more you can do aside from choosing how you want to forward your logs to Panorama, uh, an SNMP trap, via email or to a syslog server. You can also decide for which severity you want to forward the logs for. Aside from that, it's not very granular. Just click OK to confirm your configuration. Similarly, you have the lock setting features on the device tab. Just click on the device tab, lock settings. Here you can configure system logs, configuration logs and hip match logs. Notice how it's not granular at all. Aside from deciding on the severity in the system logs, there's nothing more you can do here. Once you're done setting this up, you can go ahead and commit this change and that's basically it. Now let's compare this to a firewall running PanOS version 8.0. Notice that I'm currently logged into another firewall running PanOS version 8.0. Just like on the previous device, let's go to the Objects tab, Log Forwarding. Notice that there are some profiles configured already but I'll just add a new one for the sake of this video. Just click the Add button. Notice how this window already looks different from the previous version. Give a name to your log forwarding profile. And click the Add button again to enter the log forwarding profile match list. Here you can name your match list. Add an optional description. You can select the type of logs to which this match list profile applies. Notice that there's a bigger selection possible as opposed to the previous version. There's traffic logs, threat logs, wildfire logs, URL logs, data logs, tunnel and authentication logs. Now by default the firewall forwards all logs of the selected log type. Using the drop down here you can also configure the uh, predefined severities just like in the uh, previous versions. Alternatively you can use the filter builder uh, selection to add a new filter. In the create filter tab you can create a filter and the logs matching any of the listed criteria will be forwarded accordingly. You can use the filtered logs tab to verify 
uh, which logs exactly will be forwarded. Now, it can be challenging to create your own filter, but you can work backwards and have a firewall create a filter for you. So if you don't have any filters configured, you can go to the fil View Filtered Logs tab and it will be an unfiltered view. So what you can do is you can make any selection right here and the firewall will, will create a filter for you in response to that. So let's say, for example, I would like to filter on this vulnerability name right here. Notice how the firewall creates the filter for me. Let's go back to the Create Filter tab and notice that the filter is still there. Just click the OK button and look, see how the uh, Log Forwarding Profile Match List page will have the filter in place for you. All that remains to do is select your forward method. For the sake of this video, let's choose Panorama and click the OK button. My match list is configured. If you're happy with your log forwarding profile like this, just click the OK button. And your log forwarding profile is created. So similarly, you have the log settings feature uh, on the device tab. So log settings, there we go. Aside from adding a few uh, additional logs, like the uh, user ID logs, you see right here, and the correlation type logs right here. Uh, we added the uh, similar uh, kind of granularity right here. So let's uh, check out the configuration type of logging, for example. So just click the Add button. Let's give it a name. And let's add a filter builder. Let's work backwards. Let's say, for example, I want all the logs where the, uh, or all the configuration logs where the administrator was not admin. Let's just negate that. There we go. Let's check this out. That's pretty much what we were looking for. OK. Let's forward that to Panorama and click OK. Notice how the filter is in place right here. And if you're happy with this uh, configuration, go ahead and commit your change. This pretty much concludes this video on filtered log forwarding. As always, uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to add them in the comment section below or reach out to us in the uh, live community discussions forum. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.